The airplane we are unveiling today represents a major addition to our foundation of strength. The F-15. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. I christen the eagle, and may you reign supreme in your domain. Here, here. First taking off in July of 1972, the F-15A Eagle made its rounds before the first trainer flight of its two-seat version. This aircraft was initially designed as an all-weather fighter aircraft with a twin engine configuration. Not long after, in 1976, the United States Air Force flew its upgraded version, the F-15B. In January of the same year, the first Eagle destined for a combat squadron in the U.S. Air Force was delivered. The plane had two different models, one with two seats and another with a single seat. Created by McDonnell Douglas Corporation, the aircraft has flown in many important operations, including Operation Desert Storm. Defense Contract Management Agency. In April of 2021, the Air Force held an unveiling ceremony for the newest model, the F-15 EX Eagle II, at Eaglin Air Force Base in Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. The plane is said to introduce open mission system software while including the latest suite 9.1 software. Of this legendary aircraft. During the ceremony, officials announced that the 96 test wing would take on the responsibility of testing and evaluating the new aircraft. According to the USAF, it will be the first Air Force aircraft tested and fielded from beginning to end through combined, developmental, and operational tests. Built by Boeing as part of a billion-dollar contract, this plane was the first of many planned to be delivered over the next five years. Air superiority is the role that it's looking to replace, uh, and so that thing is ready to go off the line with the APG 82 V1 radar uh, and the capability to carry up to 12 air to air missiles. Considered an evolved form of earlier models, the F 15 EX Eagle II is capable of speeds higher than its predecessors, a longer range and two additional weapon stations. The Air Force has called its technologies advanced and made them complement fifth generation assets. This two seat model promises nuclear capabilities while replacing the former legacy plane F-15C-D. Yeah, this is an exciting day for the Air Force and for Team Eglin. Our developmental test and operational test teams have been working hard for a long time uh, for this moment, for this aircraft to be arriving here. And uh, now it's when we do our, our work and get this capability tested and, and transition to the warfighter. Throughout recent years, the F-15 models have played an important part in Air Force duty. In 2015, it took part in Operation Inherent Resolve, where it was assigned to the 380th Expeditionary Air Wing.
While working in Southwest Asia, the plane would need frequent support and maintenance to operate efficiently during the mission. During the operation, maintainers with the 332nd Expeditionary Maintenance Group worked around the clock to keep everything working. While maintaining the craft, the team performs a series of inspections when the aircraft reaches a certain number of flight hours. According to some of the maintainers, the team will inspect everything from the guts of the aircraft to the structure and parts. Deeper inspections at home stations may take up to 10 days for the crew to complete. However, the team works hard to keep them safe for the pilots out in the field. In more recent years, maintenance has, however, become a bit easier for those working on the aircraft. Previously, the F-15 maintenance stands were what were called fixed stands. The stands were fixed to a specific building and had to be moved to hydraulics. Now the maintenance stands are easily movable and designed smaller than the previous ones. Maintenance personnel can move them by hand from building to building. Along with maintenance stand upgrades, the aircraft has gotten another major upgrade, this time to its radar. In what has been coined the F-15E Radar Modernization Program, or the EMP Eagle Modernization Program, engineers with Boeing are working to improve the air-to-air -air and air-to-ground radar of the F-15 aircraft. We've got uh, 94 aircraft that were projected to mod. These are the first two that you can see here. We just got our second one in today. It's uh, 70 to 75 work days per aircraft. And um, yeah, so we're gonna be here for the next seven to nine years. Boeing engineers say the work on the system begins in the front where the old radar system is located. The nose cone of the plane along with several other parts are removed to open wiring and other systems needed to make the upgrades. These upgrades are made to help pilots better detect threats when flying an aircraft. What hasn't changed much, however, is the loading of munitions on to an F-15 aircraft. Weapons such as cannon rounds are hand-loaded by the members of the 332nd Expeditionary Maintenance Squadron. Mounted internally on the plane is an M61A1 20mm six-barrel cannon. On the outside of the plane are a variety of different air-to-air -air weapons. With a heavy weapon load, the plane can work in its niche as a tactical fighter. Once finished with the munitions loading, the aircraft can finally take off. Inside the aircraft is a heads-up display.
This allows the pilot to see important information without having to look down at instruments inside the cockpit. The two-seat dual-role fighter also includes a rear cockpit, which has been upgraded to include four multi-purpose CRT displays. While in the air, the aircraft can fly for a range of nearly 3,500 miles when fully fueled. As well as its regular fuel tank, the F-15 also has three external fuel tanks, which can be fueled up mid-air as needed. In order to do this, the aircraft flies near a KC-10 extender, which is an aircraft designed to provide aerial refueling for a variety of planes. The extenders can hold a maximum fuel load of 356,000 pounds and can travel 11,500 miles without any cargo on board. Once fueled, the F-15 Eagle can detach from the larger aircraft and resume its mission. When not in the middle of a mission, however, the aircraft may instead take part in combat training. One type of training is the F-15's low-altitude air-to-ground missile targeting of watercraft. Red, I'm gonna pick it up to in this training, the aircraft aim at more than 30 civilian boats through an electronic targeting system. The boats are all of varying sizes, and according to the Air Force, they may zigzag to evade targets. These practices are designed to provide realistic targets and mimic real-world situations. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.